Good morning, everybody. Time to talk about the livestock market. Well, as we look at what we have coming up going forward at Producers, we've got our next special cow sale on March the 19th, our next special calf sale on March the 26th. But in between those two dates, we've got a Saturday special sheep and goat replacement sale. We've had this once a year for the past several years. Uh, we get a real good turnout for that sale, people looking for replacements. So we're really strict on the, t on the livestock that come into the sale. But, but that being said, uh, there's a lot of you out there who have livestock that would benefit from this sale. Now, the, the one thing that we are doing is, is there has to be a, at least a uniform group of 20 females to be eligible for sale. We're not selling those little small bunches of females. I'm sorry that we can't sell everything, uh, you know, one, two, three at a time, but, but uh, for that particular sale, we're trying to, to qualify some of these females that we're selling the sale uh, so as to have kind of the only the best uh, sheep and goats in the sale. As we look at, um, but we don't forget, we've got a sale every Tuesday and we're happy to sell any of that livestock. And we see that market on Tuesdays extremely good here in recent weeks. Now, as we look at the uh, fat cattle trade from this week, a few trades yesterday in that dollar twenty range. We're going to wait and see how that develops today. I imagine it'll stay around the same unless the board does something really drastic. Yesterday, the February live cattle contracts, which are about to close out, closed down a dollar twenty at one hundred twenty dollars and ten cents uh, per hundred weight. The April live cattle contract closed at one hundred nineteen fifty, which was down. A dollar sixty-five on the March feeder cattle. They closed up two cents at a dollar forty uh, eighty. As we look at the uh, what's kind of gone on around the country, uh, nice rains recently. Uh, we've got good moisture. I talked to a lot of folks that got around an inch out of this last rain. That'll get us kicked off for the spring. Everybody's looking forward to not having to supplemental feed as much on their cattle going forward. Uh, but the cattle will be chasing the green for a while. You got to keep that mineral out because it'll go through them a good bit faster than usual uh, with that washy feed. But uh, we're definitely seeing uh, some turnaround in this weather pattern. Now, as we look at what happened at producers yesterday, we sold almost 800 head of cattle. I think we'd have sold a good many more, uh, but for the rain uh, on Wednesday uh, compared with last week's market. I'll talk more about that after this break.